Welcome back to the Seeking for the Truth YouTube channel. In this thought-provoking video we will cover the often untouched topic of filthy dreams. We will show excerpts of Matt Frad from Ascension Presents which is a Catholic-centered YouTube channel and Gino Jennings from First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, to analyze and review their respective teachings on whether or not filthy dreams are a sin. For example many people commit fornication, adultery, murder and other types of sin in their dreams. Let's delve into this topic and start off with Matt Frad and his stance on the topic of wet dreams. Dreams, says a Thomas Aquinas, in and of themselves do not have the character of a sin. Okay, so they're not sinful. Why? He says, for every sin depends on the judgment of reason, since even the first movement of the sensuality has nothing sinful in it, except insofar as it can be suppressed by reason. That's a really good point, hey? Not just sort of sexual dreams, but if I'm kind of like walking along the street and I see something that sort of jogs my memory and I have this intense sexual reaction or sensual reaction, that's not a sin, right? This is Thomas Aquinas saying this. So sometimes people can become neurotic because they have these thoughts throughout the day sparked by a billboard or a TV show or something. Now we should know ourselves well and not be watching stupid TV shows that glorify fornication, pornography or sexual, you know, uh, things like that. But it, the point still remains as Aquinas points, the first movement of the sensuality has nothing sinful in it. Although Matt Frad cited Thomas Aquinas teaching that having a wet dream is not a sin, it is important to critically analyze this perspective from a biblical standpoint. As believers in the Bible, our ultimate authority should be the scriptures themselves, as they provide guidance for our understanding of sin and moral judgment. It is written in Jude chapter 1 verse 8. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. This passage shows that filthy dreaming leads to defilement. This is contrary to what Ascension Presents stated in the previous clip. One of Satan's devices is to control the way we think especially when we want to abstain from sins that we're battling with. In the following excerpt Gino Jennings tackles the subject of sinful dreams from a biblical standpoint and outlines how these dreams lead an individual to be in sin. He calls everyone to use the Bible as a mirror individually so that we can analyze ourselves and make scriptural adjustments to our lives. With that being said, it's refreshing to see a preacher tackling subjects like this using the Bible as not many preachers cover topics like the one you're about to see. Oh, yeah. The part of the human body that Satan bothered the most is not your flesh. Yeah. He bothered the mind. mind. Because the flesh take a break and rest. But sometimes Satan dive into your subconscious mind even when you sleep. And next thing you know you commit adultery in your sleep. In your sleep. You meet a man you ain't never met in your life. You met a woman or oh, women. That's right. That's right. You ain't never met in your life. That's right. Young sister trying to abstain. All of a sudden, she meets someone. She thinks he's a Greek goddess. <laughs> Come to her in a dream. Hair just blowing. <laughs> and she commit fornication. Well, Pastor Jennings, when I have dreams like this, do am I supposed to sin? What do they do to me? The book of Jude. In Jude 1 and at verse 8. Jude chapter 1 and Follow verse me 8. in your Bible. Amen. Uh, you know, I, I got the Bible for everything. everything. I just got to give it to you. That's right. Some folk, I remember one woman came to me after service. She said, I mean no disrespect, <laughs> but you got a hard preaching. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, you was, Williams was reading so many scriptures, and I followed him in the Bible, and every scripture was hitting me. I just closed my Bible up and threw it down. <laughs> I said, but why did you do that? She said, she shook that me. She put her hands on her hip. She said, honey, I was scared that I was going to see some more of myself in there. <laughs> Remember what we said earlier. The scriptures is a mirror. Yeah. And you must accept what you see about yourself. Self-honesty. Be brutally honest right. with yourself. That's right. You must call a spade a spade even when it hurts your character and hurts yourself. That's right. Listen. Jude chapter 1 and at verse 8. Let's get our dreams. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. Amen. Read on. Despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. 
Yet filthy, my, filthy dreamers. Filthy dreamers. They do what? Defile the flesh. Defile. That's why if you ever have a, is that quiet again? <laughs> if you ever have a filthy, dirty dream. You ever had a dream, somebody woke you up, and you got angry with them? You know, because they cut that dream off too short. And you're like, what you waking me up for? And you literally laid down to try to pick your dream back up like a movie. <laughs> huh? You laid back down and try to start that thing over, turn. You hate the sun came up, you put the covers over your head, squinching your eyes. And all the time, could have been fornicating, committing adultery, or doing the things in your dream that you're not doing now, like smoking, smoking weed, gambling, snorting cocaine. Even though it's a dream, if the book said the wages of sin is death, a dream is dangerous because you can be lowered into the actual physical act That's right. through the dream. That's right. So sometimes a dream is an invitation to do what you've never done or to go back and do what God brought you out from or to hold on to what you're trying to let go and presently struggling with. That's right. Are you listening? Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. When the thing is defiled, that means it's in sin. That's right. That's right. Man, you can have such a bad beef with someone, you dream you killed them. Wow. <laughs> How many can bear witness to that? <laughs> Amen. Amen. There are some people, man, I mean, you don't have such a run-in with them, and you're like, you know what, Lord, 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 I'm not, I'm not going there. And the book says a dream comes through the multitude of business. business. So as a result of having this run-in with him or her, you went to bed angry, and, man, you had a dream that you wore, either drove by their house and threw a bomb or went up to them, bow, 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 and you laughing. <laughs> you <know? laughs> like, like you done lost your mind. But as a, <laughs> as, a result, as a result, your flesh is what? Defiled. defiled. Because when you are defiled mentally, it calls your flesh to sin even subconsciously. Like you can dream you with a woman, and then you wake up and spilt seed in your bed. That's yeah. right. Filthy dreamers. What? Filthy dreamers. What? Filthy dreamers. Good dreamers. Filthy dreamers. No, good dreamers. Filthy dreamers. No, good time dreamers. Filthy dreamers. Good time dreamers. Filthy dreamers. <laughs> What does it do to you? Defile the flesh. When the thing is defiled, it's in sin. In conclusion, we see from the video that Gino Jennings confidently used the scriptures to substantiate his view on whether filthy dreams are a sin or not. As I stated before, our beliefs should come from the holy scriptures and not theologians. Thanks for watching and God bless.